Uh, top roping is basically what most people think of when they hear rock climbing. You basically have your rope hooked up at the top already, and when the person climbs, they just take the rope. So falling is basically on top rope is basically just going down a couple inches and just hanging there, as compared to lead climbing, which you can actually fall a handful of feet. Uh, it's fun. It's good to start out and. On the more sketchy routes, it's, it's kind of nice to do, but it, it just doesn't have the same feel as lead climbing. Well, lead climbing is when you have the rope attached to you, and you climb up, and you clip into draws as you're going up. So there is a probability that you can't take a fall anywhere from how, how spread out the roads are. The scariest part of climbing, uh, lead climbing, is when you have to just commit to what you're going to do. Just accept the fact that you might fall, just stand up on whatever foothold you have and hope that what you're reaching for is actually a good hold. And for the most part it usually is, it's just that your brain kind of runs every worst case scenario bef before you actually do it and then once it's done like wow that wasn't that easy but the, pro the problem with that is sometimes your adrenaline just kicks in and you'll be shaking and that just makes climbing a little harder so basically i climbed this route on red slab it was only like a 5.8 but it has a really big overhanging roof which is really fun to pull it's a pretty hard sequence it's really bouldery it's obviously the crux Basically there's like two holds. You get one on your left hand and you bring your right hand up. You kind of just got to smear your feet against the rock. And you just got to kind of come in. But right as you pull yourself over it, there's a flip that you can flip and then you're good from that. And then right after that, there's kind of a few holds, but it's pretty sparse, pretty slick. But after you pass that, it's just cruiser your climb to the top. It's such a good climb. This 510A called Pink Canoe. Um, well, we had a Smith try and eat it first, but he got to the crux and he, yeah, he chickened out. So they put me on it. And I got to the crux, I got about, I tried it about 10 times, I took a fall, and finally I got it, got my clip clipped in and my rope clipped. And then the rest was pretty easy from there. Well, if you really think about it, it's not sketchy, but when you're on the wall and you have all that friend and them pumping through you, it seems really sketchy. So I've been climbing about nine months or so, nine or 10 months, which isn't really that long, but I think I've progressed pretty quickly probably I've been climbing because basically I watched this one movie where this guy was lead climbing 
and he almost died and I was like, that's sick, I wanna climb, you know? I mean, you might not think that, but I thought it was really cool. So I got my friends into it and we just went and bought a rope and we got this guy from the climbing store. He owns Handsome Mountaineering, his name's Jason. He took us out a few times. So he taught us how to climb. We took a lead class at the quarry, which that was pretty helpful. From this guy named Travis, that was really good. So yeah, I've been on from there. I've climbed up to 12A outdoor in AF Canyon. Um, so what's the what's the biggest difference between lead climbing and trad climbing? Basically, lead climbing is like you have the bolts to protect you, so all you need is draws. Trad climbing, you have cams or nuts. These are cams, so you pull them in, then you stick them in a crack, and then they expand and they hold you, and they can hold 14 kilonewtons of force. Because you wouldn't think this tiny thing would hold that much. You also have nuts, which basically you just wedge into a crack and they hold you there. They're just little pieces of metal. And they hold about that same amount of force too. So basically you do that, you place your protection. If you fall, it should catch you. But there's always a risk it wouldn't, so that's why you want to place them more often. I think them bolts, and it's just, it feels more sketchy, but once you like, once you've fallen on cams, you realize just how strong they are. And you, you trust them and you can place them more often than bolts so if the bolts are spread out you can't do anything but if you're you just place as many cams as you want and you never feel like you're that far above your next piece <laughs> 